Porsche doesn't even know I exist, but they use my photos. I'm pretty happy about it. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Tanner Seymour. By day, I'm a creative director, but by night, I'm an automotive photographer and videographer. I'm chasing my dreams of hopefully telling stories in the automotive space uh, and, and telling them for free. I don't wanna lock somebody's story behind a paywall, but today's episode is really special. Before we get into it, I want to thank my number one sponsor, Pelican Parts. Pelican Parts is the best place to grab any European part you need. So whether it's Mercedes, BMW, Porsche, which I got a thing for, uh, hit up Pelican Parts. They're helping me out with my current builds. Great prices and uh, often a ton of deals. So Pelican Parts, link down below. You should go check them out. Now guys, on to the story. Today's episode is, is really special because I have officially shot for Porsche now. I can officially say it. I've marked that off my checkbox. It might not be in the way that uh, traditionally most people work with a car brand like this, but I figured a uh, win's a win. They used my shots. They like my shots from executive team to Porsche newsroom to Porsche itself, the whole shebang. I think I can say I've shot for Porsche officially. Now, Porsche doesn't even know I exist. And in fact, I wasn't even invited by them originally. I was invited by Brock Keen. And Brock Keen, if you don't know, I've done an episode with him in a, kind of an interview style. He's the one of the most influential Porsche influencers, I would say, in the world right now. And he's the guy that put rooftop tents on 911s. Not just rooftop tents, but, but he just recently put a whole canoe on a 992. Brock Keen is just an adventurer at heart, and I love the guy to death. He and I had a correspondence before this, and I saw that he was going to Stuttgart, Germany, wished him the best, and I actually got invited uh, by him and Evan if I could cover my costs. So I, I scrambled and ended up covering my end of the bit, bought the cheapest ticket and ended up in Stuttgart, Germany. I didn't know much of what was going on. And in fact, I knew only two things were gonna happen. One, we were gonna shoot a rally through the Alps. Two, um, we were gonna shoot an event for Porsche. Originally, I don't think the whole team was counting on me producing anything for Porsche, actually at all. I was kind of the black sheep. They had uh, two videographers and a photographer there. so. You know, call, why do they need me, essentially? Which, big shout outs, all their socials will be down below. Dave is a great photographer and Brandon's an awesome videographer. So go check him out. And Evan, of course, Evan Pollock Pictures. He, he, you know, he's crushing it in the automotive space. So big shout out to Evan. But you kind of get the gist. I, I wasn't, I was a black sheep. I, I, I was there because I wanted to be there. Um, not because it was a job or because, you know, it was tasked to or, or because I was getting paid, right? In fact, the contrary, I was losing money on this trip. <laughs> Basically, I, I got to experience kind of what, what it was like to shoot an event for Porsche through these guys. So we ended up going to one of Porsche's most exclusive parties. And if you don't know, Porsche just threw their biggest party ever across the world. It's their 75th anniversary. Every dealership was broadcasting this and every dealership around the world was hosting their own 75th anniversary party. It, it, it was a crazy event. And this event in particular happened in Stuttgart, Germany, the home of Porsche. And it wasn't just a 75th anniversary. They had just announced the Mission X. So this is a pretty cool car. This was kind of another debut to their preferred clientele, we'll say. Everyone at this party who was invited was basically a who's who uh, for Porsche. It, it was top clients, it was race car drivers, it was you know your most affluent people, it was Ferdy Porsche himself. And for a moment, I actually got to brush by uh, Ferdy and, and get a picture of him, uh, which was awesome. You know, it's just one of those moments I'm like, oh, this is, this is the lineage of Porsche itself. But I got into the event under the guise of being a photographer. I shot up one of my cameras and, and really my objective was primarily just to shoot for you guys, just to shoot for the channel and show what a exclusive party was gonna be like for Porsche. And 
I had gotten a list of deliverables to help the team out if they needed it, but the team was pretty much solid on what they needed to do. They got a list of deliverables from Porsche prior to the event, and they set out to accomplish exactly what Porsche had asked them. This actually was a problem for the team because Porsche, in the middle of the event, whether it was someone in the team or someone at the front end, somebody miscommunicated something there, and they ended up wanting maybe 10% of what they asked for. What they asked for was cars by themselves and you know, specific people shot, a few other special things about the event originally. What they ended up wanting was every small detail captured, imaginable, right? And those deliverables kept changing throughout the event. Now it's not like they changed and then the team got the memo and then we shot. It was like changing behind the scenes and the team got none of the memo. So by the time we knew what was going on, it was pretty much the last hour of the event. This caused a scramble. This caused a all hands on deck situation. Luckily though, because I didn't really have that much of a objective list, I knocked out the things that the team wanted and pretty much shot whatever I wanted at the event. This allowed me to be creative. This allowed me to open up, you know, whatever I wanted in the party and shoot almost every aspect of it from the claw machines to the announcers on stage to the cars by themselves, which whoever's idea was it to put the 959 to car in the back, I don't know who you are, but reprioritize your Porsches because that was that should have been almost front and center. Just just a heads up, the 95, they put the 959 to car, the actual one in the race, like, like ruin patina and all, they put it in the back, ladies and gentlemen. 90% of the party didn't know that car was there. I digress. I had shot to my heart's content, whereas the team wasn't really allowed to because they had such strict parameters. But now that Porsche had changed everything they wanted, essentially all of my stuff was requested. Pretty much anything I shot. And this this ended up working to, to my advantage because um, I, I just chatted with Dave and I was like, okay, hey Dave, what's your style? Let's edit to your style. And uh, here's all my photos. You know, we'll, we'll share this pool and we'll just get cranking on the edits. I ended up delivering almost a hundred photos to be used by Porsche. And they didn't use all 100, but they used a ton. There was a variety of photographers at the event, but of the pool of content they gathered, it was really mostly me and Dave's photos that were used, which is just an incredible feeling. I'm not, this isn't uh, to knock any of the photographers or creatives there. Like everyone there is, is a hero of mine to, to some extent, but it feels really good to get validation uh, of your work, especially from high praise from not just Porsche, but the executives of Porsche. Porsche s shared a set of my photos uh, along with the other photographers, but even after the event, I'm still seeing photos that Porsche never shared being used by executives and the executive team of Porsche. Even the chief marketing officer for them was sharing some of my photos, which is amazing. I, of course, I don't get tagged in any of this, but it's okay. They don't tag anybody. They didn't even tag Dave, which I, I was just blown away by, but it's okay, really, because. Again, you're hired by them, uh, even though I wasn't really hired by them. Uh, it's more so the team was hired by them to do the job, so they're their photos, right? Still, it's it's one of those things where it just feels super good. It's, it's a validation that I can provide and serve. Well, guys, that's all I really have to say about this episode. Uh, it feels really good to have my photos being shared around in Porsche. I, I'm blown away uh, by the people I got to meet at the party. It was great. Of course, the Mission X, I mean, the Mission X was there in all its glory, except it was a mock-up, so it wasn't there in all its glory. I also want to extend my gratitude for Porsche. Thanks for using my photos and, and finding some enjoyment there. You know, hey, if you do watch this and know my name, uh, you know, call me, text me, message me. <laughs> uh, let's get in touch. But I also want to thank Brock and the team, Evan, Brandon, and Dave. Guys, thank you so much for allowing me to contribute and allowing me to uh, participate in this. And uh, I, I hope I represented the team well and was able to, to make you guys look good at least. So, uh, But I appreciate your viewership, guys. Subscribe if you haven't. That's what you can do to help me produce these episodes for you and for the community. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have fun. <laughs> Way too much. <laughs>